instead of having the highest DPI setting set to 3200, what if we put it on? Yeah, that's right. 12 flippin'. Okay, let's do it. Oh man, we did it. <laughs> We did it! Oh, we did it! Hey, what's up, guys? It's Robin here, and welcome back. I hope you're doing fine. In this video, we're going to take a greater look at Mr. Savage Gaming Mouse. Currently, Mr. Savage or Martin Foss Anderson is using this. This is the Rocat Cone Pure Oli, which currently sits around 55 bucks at Amazon. Today, we're going to test this mouse out in a variety of challenges in both CSGO and Fortnite to really find out what makes this mouse so good and if it's something you might want to invest in. What about the sense? the build, the shape, etc, etc. We're about to test everything out. With that said, let's unbox it. We got a 2D Titan wheel. You know what? I can't hold it any longer, guys. Let's dive into it. Let's dive into it. Actually, I'm actually sounding exhausted, but I'm just excited. So, Roket's boxes has always been kind of complicated. So many, so many stickers. God, there's a lot of things going on on the top here as well. Let's just give me a moment. So, we got 16 mouse functions, 16.8 million RGB colors, RGB colors. That's it. That's it. That's it. I'm diving into this now. Let's see. FPS approved. MOBA approved. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, nice. Nice. What is this? Is it a set of stickers? Maybe. Perhaps. Well, it kind of looks like it. We got a quick installation guide. How about that? And the disposal information. Let's just put it on the side. Let's see what this is. It's a lot of things going on here, guys. As you can see, you got... I don't know what this is supposed to be, a poster almost. Very nicely done, actually. Look at that. So nicely done. Let's take a look at the mouse now. So, let's see. Let's see if we can get this off. Nice. 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 All right. So, wow, it's so small, actually. God, it feels so small. It feels so small, in fact. It looks so much bigger on the screen. The buttons are very clicky, actually. It does feel a bit plastic. Maybe I need more time with it, I don't know. But the shape is fantastic, I tell you that. That's my initial thoughts, at least. But it's so small. God damn it. Cord is braided. Nice. Love that. Not too stiff, either. It's, it's actually kind of thin. If I can get it out. There we go. <laughs> Okay, let's just put those on the side as well. So, this is the mouse itself. Very small, in fact. Let's do a comparison. So, here's the R58, which you can obviously see. There's a quite a, a size difference here. The uh, R58 is almost... It almost feels a few more... A few centimeters higher, actually. I could be wrong. This one comes in at 88 grams. Shouldn't be considered a heavy mouse by any means, but it's not the lightest mouse around either. But I do think that Rocat's done a pretty decent job here how excited to try this out actually the cable is actually really good and it's actually thinner than the r58 the r58 is actually thicker unfortunately this one is a bit stiffer it's definitely a lot thinner than most mice out there actually as far as i can tell uh, from my initial thoughts at least but man i like it what about the scroll wheel then so this is the 2D Titan. Not sure what that means really. You got this, this sort of like, grip coating here. Perfect grip there. Here we go. Connected. Ah, uh, so yeah, we got some form of pulsing RGB going on. Right now it's purple. Probably switch to red and green and yellow pretty soon as well. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it, right? We need to test this out, right? And what games would be the best to try this out and of course we're gonna do some fortnite fun of oh nice i'm just i want to try this mouse out i cannot wait any longer guys we're gonna jump into some csgo and fortnite right now right here let's get into it all right so with that done and clear we gotta find some interesting ways of testing the sensor out rocat calls the sensor oli there's gotta be a reason for it now will it survive the killer surface test we're going to test the oli on a total of five different surfaces to determine how sensitive this sensor actually is. What about tracking on glass? Well, we've done this test a couple of times before, but to this day, there is not a single sensor out there that have passed this test yet. And that includes the R58 and Model O as well. So this is going to
going to be pretty interesting. Now I feel like there's a lot of things I really want to test here, but this time I want to focus it down to the sensor specifically. I feel like with such a cool sensor name, this sensor has to be pretty special to Rocat, and therefore I figured let's step up the testing a tiny bit. First up we got plastic, and I would be uh, quite surprised if this mouse fails this test. And it doesn't, we got cloth. Are you kidding me? Seriously? You gotta be kidding me. Maybe there's a setting here. There's gotta be something here I'm missing. There's gotta be something wrong here. What the flip and flop and hell? Let's just reset everything. That was so weird. Alright, so cloth definitely works. It actually got me a bit sweaty. So next up, metal. Yeah, metal is fine. It actually works pretty good. What about cardboard? Does it work? Very much so. Alright, so last test is gonna be glass and if this mouse passes this test, I'm going to be very surprised. Let's see. No, it doesn't. Damn it. That's a fail then. But plastic, glass, cloth, cardboard and wood. Still pretty good. So the sensor itself is fairly sensitive with a max DPI or CPI of 12k, but can you even play on 12k? With me today guys, I got the AOC CQ32G1 monitor, we did a review on this monitor a few days ago. Now in case you're curious and you wanna learn more about this pretty epic screen, you can find that video down below. Anyway, this is a 2k monitor, so in terms of resolution, it can go a bit higher than the traditional Full HD or 1080p, and it should allow us to naturally pick a higher dpi profile 12k is a bit overkill but yeah i am a bit funky why not test 12k dpi and see if it's actually possible to play on it but maybe even more importantly how accurate is the tracking from the oli sensor with such a high resolution let's find out let's try 12,000. <laughs> instead of having the highest dpi setting set to 3200 what if we put it on yeah that's right 12 flippin k let's do it i'm just going to switch back to 1600 jump back in game 1600 3200 <laughs> oh this is insane let's just calm down for a second let's see if we can kill anyone uh, so this is essentially what the mouse makers are advertising their mice for some has a max dpi of 10k this one has flippin 12k and there is also mice out there with 16k dpi look at this <laughs> Let's just try and see if we can kill someone with 12k dpi online, no scope, that is the challenge, let's go. Let me know in the comments below guys, what dpi settings are you gaming on? Also, do you switch between different dpi profiles for different games? That would be very interesting as well. Let's just jump in and play with Eric, Ted and Brian, that would be nice. Let's just switch over to AWP and see if we can no scope someone with 12k DPI. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on, come on. No. Oh, damn it. All right, I'm not giving up, guys. We need, we need to surprise someone. There we go. Come on. We got this. No. No. No, please. Oh, that was actually so close. No, bro. I wonder how, how many we, we got so far. Damn it. Keep believing. No. 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 That was so close. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, man. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Oh, we did it. Let's give this weapon a go. Don't even move. <laughs> That was actually kind of nice. With all this being done and said, what do I think about the shape? The body is actually very sleek, it's quite steep and very short. There is a pretty steep slope and sort of pocket or dip made for pretty much any thumb size. The thumb buttons are whoever placed closer to the back so to speak, which made it a bit awkward for me and at first I had troubles using the back buttons. I actually had some major difficulties but I have adopted pretty nicely after a few hours of use here. I do however 
think that claw grippers will find button layouts on point on this mouse. What about the buttons and the scroll wheel? Scroll is 10 out of 10 I would say. It has perfect resistance and the stepping is distinct and it's got that nice tactile feeling. The DPI buttons works flawlessly and you can customize the intensity levels in the Rowcat Swarm software which I by the way would rate pretty high after been using it for a while. It's actually quite intuitive and it's packed with a lot of customizations and I definitely recommend spending a few extra hours inside here guys to browse around till you find everything out here because there is a lot of stuff that you can do inside here. So the surface has a sort of sleek, quite slippery, thin matte coating that is quite unusual on mice these days I would say and you don't really find that many mouse makers that uses this type of coating any longer. Very soft in fact. I honestly like it but coming from Model Lowe's glossy finish was a challenge I'm not gonna lie. Again, cord is actually far from the worst. It's actually one of the best braided cords I've seen in a good while and thanks to it being so thin it will almost feel like it's wireless even though it's not. Don't get me wrong here guys, this is not a paracord but what I'm trying to say is that I don't think that many people, if any people at all, is going to complain about it. So to try and wrap this up guys, Cone is a brilliant mouse. If you're considering it, I want you to be prepared about the size. It's a small mouse and I was quite surprised how small it actually is so. And so pictures and whatnot doesn't really do justice here and so that one is important. Now if you are comfortable with the smaller mouse, I'm sure you're going to dig this one as well. And in terms of specs, the sensor is definitely enough for competitive gaming. Otherwise, Mr. Savage wouldn't be kicking ass with it. And if you're not sold on the matte finish, I definitely recommend visiting a local shop and get a better feel for it. Now, you might be wondering why Martin is just sticking to Rowcat gear. For example, he's got the Rowcat mouse mat. And right now, he's also using the Vulcan 120 AMO. And on top of that, he's using this mouse as well. The reason for that is that Martin is sponsored by them. That all said, it doesn't change the fact that the cone is a great mouse but it is something that you need to know about anyway i am going to be back guys with a brand new video in just a few days time again if there's anything you're wondering let me know in the comments below i'm gonna do my best to help you guys out until next time have an awesome day right bye